This has probably happened to you. You're hanging out with all your friends. Everybody's got a nice cold water in their hands and the conversation naturally turns to SQLite as it always does. And everybody's like, make sure you use wall mode. And you're just like, yeah, wall mode is awesome. And no one ever says what wall mode is. I'm gonna tell you what wall mode is, but first I'm gonna show you that it's 10 times faster than rollback mode. Let me show you how. So I have two databases here. We're gonna open SQLite 3 database and we're gonna open rollback.sqlite. And if we look at, what do we wanna look at? We wanna look at pragma journal mode. And if we look at journal mode, we are in delete journal mode, which is a form of rollback. And if we open a different one here, SQLite 3 database, let's open wall.sqlite. We'll clear that out. And we want to do the same thing over here, pragma journal mode. And if we check that, we are in wall mode. You can set wall mode equal or you can set journal mode equal to wall by doing that. You likely wanna do that before there's any data in the database. All right, let's get out of here and let's get out of here. I have written a benchmarking script, which I will show you later. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna run AR bench, which is the benchmarking script. The DB, we're gonna say, let's open the rollback database. Queries, let's run, uh, let's run 2000 queries from 25 different processes. And let's see how that goes. Spinning up and there they go. Look at all the processes. Good job guys, keep going. And wow, that took a long time. All right, it took 7.2 seconds. Blah, not great, 6,000, 6,500 reads per second, 33, no, 300 writes. Ooh, that's not great. Let's run this again. AR bench, DB equals wall, queries. Uh, let's do the same number of queries, which I definitely remember was 2,000 queries. So we'll run 2,000 queries again with processes set to 25 again and pay close attention. Here we go. Get ready, go. And we're done. Look at that. Look how much faster it is. All right, 568 milliseconds, so more than an order of magnitude, 83,000 reads per second, more than an order of magnitude, and 4,300, again, more than 10 times faster. You can check the P50 through 99 down here. It is so much faster. Let's just for giggles run, uh, let's run 15,000 processes, no, 15,000 queries in 50 processes. So we're gonna spin up 50 separate processes, each running 15,000 queries. And so we've spawned 50, there they go. Not so bad. Done. Great. So 95,000 reads per second, 5,000 writes per second. I have fixed the mix of reads and writes to be 95% approximately reads, 5% approximately writes. And so that's where that number is coming from. You can see how fast this is. Let me show you the benchmarking code real fast and then uh, I'll explain what wall mode actually is so you can impress your friends at the next party. So down here, or well up here, we just have some stuff to spin up the processes and spawn it all, but all of the actual commands or the, the SQL queries are down here. 5% of the time we're gonna write and we're just writing into a key value store. That's it, it's a very simple, it's very simple queries. Um, the, the point of this benchmark is to compare wall mode versus rollback mode, not necessarily to simulate production traffic. Um, insert into KV key value with those two bound in on conflict. SQLite has upserts. Did you know that SQLite has upserts? On conflict, update the value. So that's what happens when we write, which is 5% of the time. And when we read, we just select star from KV where key equals 
equals key. And I have seeded these random number or these randomness generators, I have seeded them so that, that they uh, all are, are the same between two different benchmarks. So when we did rollback and wall, they were using the same, the exact same values. We still got 10 times the performance in wall mode. Now, what is wall mode? Well, SQLite has two different modes. It has the rollback journal and it has the write ahead log. Let's talk about the rollback journal first and then we will compare that to the write ahead log. A database, a SQLite database, is a single file and within that single file are multiple blocks of equal size. We call those pages. So in a database, bunch of different pages. In rollback mode, in rollback mode, when uh, something starts to write to the database, a process starts to write to the database, before it does, it takes that page and it copies it out and sets it aside for safekeeping. Then it writes all of its data into the actual database file. And then when it is done, when the commit is finished, that is when that journal is deleted. It could be truncated, it could be zeroed out, but regardless, the data is destroyed. And that actual deletion or truncation, that's what actually cements the commit. That's what makes the commit complete. As long as the journal still exists, that commit is not finished. This ensures that we have atomic commits and rollbacks and we're never writing or reading anything that was half finished. That's the rollback mode. The wall mode inverts that and it, instead of copying the original data out, it leaves the original data in place and it starts writing ahead to a log, write ahead log wall mode. That's crazy. So it starts writing ahead to a separate file. So you might see another file on your file system with dash W-A-L on it. That is the write ahead log. And so all of the readers can keep reading the database while the writer is writing to this write ahead log. And at some point, a checkpoint happens and that write ahead log is taken and put back into the database as a single file. And then the write ahead log file is actually deleted. And so what this means is you can continue writing to the write ahead log and anytime a reader opens the database, it queries the write ahead log and says, what's the last, what's the last committed transaction? And the write ahead log says the last committed transaction was number five. And the reader reading the database says, great, I'm going to read the actual database file and the write ahead log file, but I am not going to go past transaction number five. My universe is limited to the last transaction I see when I open the database. And that ensures that we stay in a consistent state for the entire time, the entire time that read is, is uh, reading from the database. And then when a new reader starts reading, it's going to see maybe a different latest transaction, but importantly, it's not going to see any half committed transactions. It's not going to read any partially finished stuff. And if the writer needs to roll back, it just deletes the end of the write ahead log file. It doesn't have to touch the original database at all. So this is how you get that higher throughput is all of these readers can continue reading the database file and the write ahead log until a certain point. And that point is the checkpoint. So every now and then it is configurable, but every now and then when a writer finishes writing, what will happen is we'll look at the write ahead log and say, Ooh, that's getting kind of big, isn't it? Let's take the write ahead log, put it back, merge it back into the database, and then we'll start a new write ahead log. And so this is the one setting on your SQLite database that you definitely want to change. The default journal mode is delete. That is a historical artifact. Since 2010, wall mode has been around and you probably want to use wall mode for everything. Even forks of SQLite like libsql by the Terso team, they only support wall mode. You'll find that many modern SQLite offerings either highly suggest or force you to use wall mode. If you want to learn more about SQLite, I do have a course at highperformancesqlite.com. If you want to run SQLite in production and have somebody handle it all for you, you can check out Terso. Until the next time, see ya.